Hi guys, welcome to this video about when what you can do when you have the error. This is name passed too long. This is a really old annoying window error. What has happened? Um, this is not the amount. I mean, some people could think that these are the amount of subdirectories. So this is uh, one two and uh, yeah when you have more three four five whenever you have backslash then it's a new sub subdirectory so could be a limit of that i think that's it's not so i think it's it's still the old limitations of about 255 or 260 characters the whole string whatever you put in your folder length i mean the whole thing including the files which are in the folder uh, should not exceed 255 or 260 characters let's say it's 260 i'm not, not sure so let's let, let's assume it's 260. this is a really old limitation i think it's from probably windows 3.11 something like that and it has never been changed there are uh, a lot of tools and utilities which are not uh, able to handle that. I think the system itself is able to handle that. Um, and yeah, you can, uh, when you have a zip file and you want to extract these, the thing is inside the zip file, you cannot change, you cannot change anything. It, 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 it is how it is. But usually when you download something and you want to extract something, with especially with the windows uh, decompression tool it uh, takes the folder where it's in so here it's already downloads and then it takes the name of the downloaded zip file which is here from the google takeout it's really long it's it's takeout and then a timestamp and even a number and it this consumes consumes already a lot so this you can change when you 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 can even put it on the root of d which is not useful of course then it will fill your computer on the root level with whatever you have inside the zip file so of course you have to or you, I strongly recommend to use a, 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 some kind of folder, but it can be like uh, AA01 or I, I, I don't know, whatever you uh, find to identify. Then after that, you have to remember that, of course, but you, but you can use, I mean, yeah, the shortest is one, one uh, character. I think it should be possible to use a, just an A or a b or a, yeah whatever you like so this can help definitely and if you're still having the problem just try with the 7zip that's a free tool so we have it on 7-zip.org uh, i will put down the link into the description so you can download it right from here um that uh, tool is a little bit more capable than Windows default tool and maybe if you're still having the problem it could be able to help that's also definitely another thing to consider and um, what I strongly recommend when you uh, when you do something like uh, yeah, especially unzip a takeout thing like like when you have your whole google drive thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of file you have to make all the uh, free all the resources of your computer so close all open programs like here i have i have currently a lot of open programs also close uh, the um, yeah browser close really everything what you have especially explorer explorer can be really i have a lot of them open usually and so it's definitely a good thing to close everything while well, this is running don't do a lot of stuff this is really uh, cpu consuming space storage consuming and it doesn't like any interaction or like a disturbance from other 
program so just let it run if it's running for a couple of hours then yeah do it overnight or whatever so but let it do its job otherwise it could uh, fail again so I've uh, seen this many times and when I let it run uh, then then it worked what I also noticed I, I don't know if this is really uh, true or just um, anything um, I, I haven't really checked some people say when you're using longer fol folder pass it's taking longer time unfortunately I haven't tried I've never I haven't been comparing the only thing which I can tell you uh, when I try to extract this it showed me time remaining about four hours which is huge I mean I wouldn't do that during the day because I have to work <clears throat> um, yeah I would this do overnight but let it let it let it do its job for for a, a couple of minutes or so and then check again and here in the next picture I hope I can see show you that you see the difference after a couple of minutes or even seconds it went down to 21 minutes and I think then even more so I let it run even a little bit longer and after one third it just said only six minutes and 30 seconds running so I don't know if it has to do with, with a shorter uh, pause, probably not, uh, but there are people saying that, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, it's it's a good thing to give it some time and let it run for, for some time and then you will see uh, how long it really needs, but just let it, let it be, let it run, uh, again, use really short folders. Uh, short, uh, folder names uh, even maybe shorter than this one and let it run free and maybe use the 7 uh, seven zip tool and hopefully then it will work at the end so I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time